ordinary people. Depending on their actions, and the laws of the prevailing jurisdiction, those engaged in an affray may also render themselves liable to prosecution for assault. Unlawful assembly, or riot, if so, it is for one of these offenses that they are usually charged. The common law offense of affray was abolished for England and Wales on April 1, 1987. Affray is now a statutory offense that is tribal either way. It is created by Section 3 of the Public Order Act 1986 which provides, the term violence is defined by Section 8. Section 3 once provided that a constable could arrest without warrant anyone he reasonably suspected to be committing affray, but that subsection was repealed by paragraph 26 of Schedule 72. And Schedule 17 too, the Serious Organized Crime and Police Act 2005, which includes more general provisions for police to make arrests without warrant. The mens rea of a fray is that person is guilty of a fray only if he intends to use or threaten violence or is aware that his conduct may be violent or threaten violence. The offense of a fray has been used by UM government to address the problem of drunken or violent individuals who cause serious trouble on airliners. In R.V. Childs and Price, the Court of Appeal quashed a murder verdict and replaced it with a fray, having dismissed an allegation of common purpose. A fray is a serious offense for the purposes of Chapter 3 of the Criminal Justice Order 2008. In New South Wales, Section 93C of Crimes Act 1900 defines that a person will be guilty of a fray if he or she threatens unlawful violence towards another in his or her conduct is such as would cause a person of reasonable firmness present at the scene to fear for his or her personal safety. A person will only be guilty of a fray if the person intends to use or threaten violence or is aware that his or her conduct may be violent or threaten violence. The maximum penalty for an offense of a fray contrary to Section 93C is a period of imprisonment of 10 years. In Queensland, Section 72 of the Criminal Code of 1899 defines a fray as taking part in a fight in a public highway or taking part in a fight of such a nature as to alarm the public in any other place to which the public have access. This definition is taken from that in the English Criminal Code Bill of 1880, CL. 96. Section 72 says any person who takes part in a fight in a public place, or takes part in a fight of such a nature as to alarm the public in any other place to which the public have access, commits a misdemeanor. Maximum. Penalty, one year's imprisonment. The Indian Penal Code adopts the Old English Common Law definition of a fray, with the substitution of actual disturbance of the peace for causing terror to the lieges. In New Zealand a fray has been codified as fighting in a public place by Section 7 of the Summary Offences Act 1981. Under the Roman Dutch law in force in South Africa a fray falls within the definition of vis publica. In the United States, the English common law as to a fray applies, subject to certain modifications by the statutes of particular states. This article incorporates text from a publication now in the public domain, Chisholm, Hugh, ed. Dot. A fray. Encyclopedia Britannica. Cambridge University Press. Thanks for watching.